Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stellaris. Been, uh, hasn't been a bit, but I still have to kind of figure out what it is I'm doing. I think I promised you that the next time that we were on here, we were going to push a button. Or maybe we already pushed that button. Where's our fleet at? Yep. So now we're going to be waiting until these cruisers get built. I just think that they're building both cruisers at the same shipyard because it, it'd been nice for them to be built. Ooh, here's the... <gasps> no way. No way. Okay, so I guess because I kept saying the word Stellaris in my phone, you know, like, like here's what I'm saying, that it started showing me Stellaris-related stuff on Reddit, and... Um, one of the, one of the people had posted like, this is a really, really sad, uh, event that, that happens in Stellaris every now and then. And it was that event that we just saw. So for a moment, I thought we had seen it together, but then I realized I was like, no, no, no. I saw that on Reddit, but that's, we're not going to investigate it right now, but when we do invest. Oh, cool. When we excavated the site, we found a deal. Cool. Um, the crew clearing the sinkhole has made a breathtaking discovery buried deep within the chasm under multiple layers of liquids and highly type of sediment is a colossal alien space station. Architecturally stunning and built with technology far superior to our own it is a true work of art. The station appears to have crashed to the surface, surviving the impacts thanks to the unusual shielding capacities, which our scientists are now eager to examine. Regrettably, an archaeological excavation would prevent us from working the land until it is... Yeah, we're going to... Uh, we're going to... Uh, excavate the site. We're not going to just cover it back up. We are definitely going to put time and effort into that. Um, Our special project is complete. Okay. So this is the um, construction ship. It went over there and it restored power to um, some type of old shipyard. And it, it, it actually it produces the ship Um it produces the ship and, and now we have that ship in our fleet but it they're 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 not really i mean they're they're good ships at the very beginning of the game but they're not good right now like they're they're not they're of a no use to us um so we're just gonna we're just gonna I, I it would be nice if there was a if there was a thing that was like we should break these down and use them as as yada yada i'd be like oh yeah absolutely we use it for something else um, besides getting the ships out of it or sell the ships or do something, but they don't, they, 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 we just don't need them in our fleet right now. So, um, we're on slow. Let's kick it up to normal. We're looking at the fleet menu. It built the two cruisers. We're building two more Then the Corvette should be built in no time. Hey, we got a, we got an artifact. Super nice. These guys are still at war. The war is about, they have about 33, 36% war exhaustion. So this is going to be good for us. And they're still equivalent military. Yeah, our strength is about the same. We have a guy who's been managing his spy network against them, but we haven't, we haven't had a chance to do anything. Um, I guess we just haven't been putting points into encryption or something. Got some extra... Got some extra um, physics research experience there. Our physics is really good at 235. Everything else is societal research is bad. Like that's kind of lagging behind. All right. Fleet management window. And then, the, like I said, the Corvette just takes moments for it to come online. Um. We'll reinforce the fleet one more time before we shove off. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to save the game as um, hot lamp, hot lab, hot lamp, and then that way, if if we do bad here and things we don't, it doesn't it doesn't go our way. We'll be able to come back <laughs> and start over. Uh, here we go. I think we're going to go ahead and tell these guys that we're going to go to war with them. 
And I love it. We're just we're gonna eat them. We're just gonna eat them. We're we're hungry. Just gonna eat them. Why can't we go there? Lies within yeah. That's we're at war with them. Why can't we go there? There we go. Oh, for yeah, for one second I guess that they, they were like, you can't go there because um they have closed borders. We're good. There you go. Population growth. So good. Okay, now maybe Gene Warrior would be a good one, or Clone Army would be a good one to go into. Uh, monthly influence. We really don't need any more influence. Uh, we don't need any envoys because we, we don't do diplomacy with people. So I think we'll do the Clone Army because it's an upgrade to our regular assault troops. And then we'll do Gene Warrior Army, right? It doesn't have. Oh! Yeah, I guess it'll stack. I guess it'll stack. I hope those two aren't mutually exclusive. I hope they stack. Hey, we've met new aliens. Our special project is complete. Nice. All these special projects we sent uh, our science ships around the um, galaxy to to get done. Uh, they're 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 starting they're starting to get that. Okay, we can now research living metal which is really cool we got 2200 society research which is a very we need that bad and our our science guy gets 200 experience um that's cool so there's large organisms that produce uh, a bacteria that have like healing properties that's really cool that's like star uh star wars with bacta tanks right like bacta comes from um Actually, let me look at the situation log. Is there anything? So we do need the ghost ship. Um, where's the ghost ship at? All the way over there. I kind of want to send him there. We already have a scientist on route. The L cluster isn't something that we can kind of do. The precursor stuff, we're still working on it. Um, maybe, maybe we can, we can send this scientist on the archaeological dig site. That we found yeah so excavate the site please and thank you oh it's just right down around the corner that's perfect that works out well here's a science ship that's not being utilized so let's go ahead and click on that that and that and hit start he's gonna go ahead and do something i don't know all of our science ships are put back to work yeah i know we're at war we're good and our objective for this war is going to try to make our way down here. And whatever they did, like whatever this this other um, this other kingdom, however they're like pushing in to the to the guys that we're fighting, we're going to try to help. We're going to try to cut cut their their um, we're going to try to cut their empire in half. Okay, planetary supercomputer, antimatter reactors, plasma thrower. I don't think we use. Plasma. Barrier point defense. I'm going to do the antimatter reactor. And let's just take a moment here and let's look at the ship designer and let's look at kind of our ships here. Um, is our cruiser has level two shields, which is as good as it gets. He has level two armor, which is as good as it gets. He has nothing in the auxiliary component. I hate that the computer does not do that. Yeah, do that. It's, it's going to give us better fire control. Gives us more power. Look at that. Level 1 for point defense. Level 3 rail guns. Look at that. Our point defense is pathetic. Pathetic. And what is this? A scout wing or amoeba flagella? And then that's a... Ra yeah. So whatever uh we're gonna save it yes and i don't know if we need the extra power or not uh, we'll leave it there for right now this one has stuff on it it's got missiles antimatter missiles but it has no point defense the Corvette, for some reason, the destroyer has no point defense, but the Corvette does. 
but the point defense the point defense is is poo poo. Okay, but they have stuff in their deal, and he has a stuff in his deal, which is plus fifty extra power, plus fifty seven, and plus one hundred and thirty five. So, okay, I'm I'm okay with everything except for we need to upgrade our point defense, which we just had an opportunity to upgrade our point defense. We went with something else, but we just had that opportunity to upgrade it. So in the future, remind me. So now here we can't. Oh, we can go there, but there he doesn't own that. We have to go through this guy right here, and it's a little scary because he does have a five thousand. He has like a mega fortress here, but hopefully we'll be able to just kind of punch through it. Do I foresee us having to fall back a little bit? Um, yes, probably gonna have to fall back after this fight. It would be nice if we had like another fleet here to just kind of hold this while we fall back. But this fleet has its one cruiser, so it, it doesn't really make sense to send it down here. Um, but yeah, I do anticipate us losing a lot here and having to fall back and... Oh, no, 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 our guys heal in space for some reason. I still don't understand why we got that super awesome buff to heal in space. It, it doesn't make sense to me. All the other, all the other races I've ever played, you have to like retreat and go back and uh heal at a shipyard but this species they just in space they just start healing up see see how he, he's got the little green around him oh no 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 stop moving stop moving but if you watch see they're they're just healing up right there in the middle of space okay let's go back out here we were at 10,000, so we lost 1,000. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, but now, I mean, look at this. All of these planets, all of these systems are just open to being attacked. All of them are. So I think that's what we should do. Just go through here and attack and attack and attack and just destroy as many systems as we can. Oh, that's right. This research project for his... um. Yeah. I always forget that after a battle, because you fight another species and they have different technology than you do, you get like bonuses. But yeah, that's, that's what we'll be doing right now. We're just going to be just like, just kind of rampaging through all of this. Crushing oh. And then when I can, yeah, when I can on this fleet, um, I'll do the reinforcement. We we we're at nineteen, which is a little dubious. Do I want to work my way up north, or do I want to work my way down south? I think south. I think we want to turn south. We want we want to see. We want to link up with that other civilization. We're not allies with that other civilization, but if we can link up with them and like see how what the damage they have done, then. <coughs> Sorry, I hate coughing into your ear. Then maybe we can like link up and, and combine our fleets and just destroy this guy. Just annihilate him off the map. This should just go away instantaneously. Uh, Savage Civilization has finished construction of several printing presses. These machines have enabled them to produce written material to great quantities, resulting in the rudimentary form of mass communication. New ideas are rapidly spreading across the planet with profound social impacts. Cool. Um, the Our people that... Project is complete. The crew in the SS... Is it ciphered? Is there no meaning behind the cube? Some thought that oh yeah yeah <laughs> so remember how we found that guy lying on his bunk and he had the rubik's cube on his chest we finally got around to like trying to decipher the rubik's cube and um uh apparently someone gained something called near neutral over clocking trait and it has an empire effect of plus six research speed so, because we played with a Rubik's Cube, now all the research our entire species does, while that leader is alive, um, is 6% faster. Um, but this civilization over here, are we still... Yeah, we're doing aggressive observations. 
Uh, there's if, if we were playing somebody who uh, did more than just try to eat people. Oh, we could build a spy network. Go to oh, okay. Reveal our presence. Ooh. See, we are a devouring swarm. We do not engage in diplomacy with other species. We eat them. Uh, so if we were somebody who had more than like uh, the smallest impulse control or had the, the smallest impulse control, we could do some weird things to them. We could like try to raise them up um, to like a super intelligent sapient. Or they're already a sapient species. Uh, we could raise them up to be a spacefaring civilization. Technology conceived. Um, there's that clone army. That's cool. Habitability plus five, clear a blocker. See, there we go, uplift. So this would give us the, the chance to um, turn that world uh, into into like a, a spacefaring civilization. Then they would join us, or we could let them go as a puppet or something. Uh, it's just kind of neat. If, like I said, we had we, we could do stuff. <laughs> um, we're going to go for that gene warrior army now. I think. Let's snag regenerative whole tissue first because we we're it's it'll be closer. And we still oh that was that was that was yeah all right it'll be fine it'll be fine. And I still don't understand this. I don't understand why they're at twelve percent and why we're at fifteen. Like I just don't I don't get it. <laughs> they've done the they've system. done nothing to us. This is great. This is perfect. This is kind of what I wanted to do. Like, like just cut this little slice off and then maybe, um, like, like if we could build a really nice, okay, good. Is there another one that you can do? No. Yeah, he can't. It was just kind of there. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. Then unpause. <laughs> Old curmudgeon. He's making fun. He's saying, what is it? Bird people don't birds eat shrimp. Yeah, but we're like gigantic. A new archaeological special project is available on this planet. That's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. So, uh, yeah. So on these planets, um, we, we have, we have, um, there's a possible, there's a possibility that the precursor species has stuff located on these planets. We probably, even though it's going to suck, we're, we're going to, we're going to go ahead and build an outpost here and claim this. Uh, part of the empire, it's going to push us up even more bloated than we already are, but it's going to give us an archaeological site. I don't know why I've not jumped on that before. Same thing with this one. Uh, going to go ahead and just snag these archaeological sites. Probably should do the same thing there and there. I don't know why I haven't before. It's not. I mean, we're in for a penny in for a pound. You know, like we're we're already we're already over so much that these four aren't going to do any more, and we're already we're growing more as it is right here. So. Might as well. And then and then maybe um, if we get to like 400 and then we have an op uh, opportunity to make it like negative 50% for something, then you know, it'll be like super it'll, it'll be like a real big payoff for us. Uh, gate. Gale speed trait granting the following effects. Sublight speed. Cool. Ooh. We're going to come here and take that, and then that, and then that. This is a planet, so where is our armies? They're here. What do we do? We tell them to get off the planet, embark all. I think that's what you do. And then those are the garrison. Okay. There's the army, so when we capture this, we'll land the army on that world, and we'll take it over. And then... I guess we'll have to jump. I guess we'll take, we'll, we'll go for the north first. It looks like this is like their second line of defense. So we'll just, we'll go around the outside edges and we'll go to the north and we'll take all that over. Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna reinforce this fleet next time. We just need two fleets. We we can't just run around with one big stick. We need another one. And it would be great if this secondary fleet here would would buy more of the smaller corvettes, but they they're gonna keep they're gonna keep dumping all the the money into um Oh look, they did. They did corvettes. Good. Good. That makes me feel a little bit better. I'd rather have like one capital ship surrounded by ten little ships than like two capital ships. Nice, 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 nice. Unlocks advanced traits for species modification. Allows the assimilation of pops into our into or out of our hive mind. That is so cool. That is so cool. We can now, we can now, like like this species over here, we can assimilate them to the hive mind. Like they can be part of the hive mind, but a different species. That's so cool. All right, so this is the um, the site with the ship that landed on the surface. Every aspect of their lives was governed by an omnis omniscient oracle who scried their destinies at birth. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. <laughs> so basically what's happened is that on this space station that we discovered, it like we, we go through the logs and their history and we find out that um, just like it says, there's a Oracle that lives in the station. And when these people are born, the Oracle is like, oh, okay, let me tell you exactly what you're going to do in our society for the rest of your life. Uh, and like, and like what your, what your fate and your destiny is going to be like right from birth. Like they tell the parents and then like, there's no way out. Like you have to do that forever Technology and ever and ever. Received. All right. So we took over this, we're leaving the system, but we have already, uh, we've already, um, ordered the invasion of this planet. There's only four people here. So, oh, cool. We found a planet that we thought was a gas giant, but it's just like a regular planet. Uh-oh, what is this? Not enough housing. Not enough housing here. So what do we want to do? Do we want to... Um, I guess we're going to do that. We're going to build a hive area here. Just to get some more amenities. Upgrade these research facilities. Oh, this needs to be upgraded. What does it need? more pop and then that's lacking the gas the exotic gases yeah probably shouldn't have sold all those out let's just take a look right quick so uh we're running a deficit here on this planet of negative 25 credits and that's because this is a farm planet when we get a couple of more people then it's going to fill this in so yeah it's just going to take a bit for that one to be super productive this one is a deficit of 22 food because it's a, yep. Yeah, and then that'll get, so these, these forge worlds here, um, like this second area, it's about to really kind of take off. Look at that. 39 houses available. That's great. Yeah. These are really about to take off for us, especially now that we have so many ways to like grow our population. Crushing a hostile hive. Oh, here, yes. All right. Um, shields would be good. Getting a new shield upgrade would be nice. Colony development. We just we're not doing colonies right now. The reactor. We already have a reactor right now that we're kind of not using. Disruptors. We didn't really go to the disruptor laser route. Um, advanced research complexes would be nice. Mm, let's go with shields just for right now. And yeah, we have a couple of, of points, but we're going to, well, what, what do we get? What do we get? Is there a way I can just look right quick and kind of see what we have? Uh, so now we can, we can add the fleeting so that our lifespan goes down. Just, oh. Several of our abducted abduction teams stationed on the have apparently been using the thrusters of their shuttles to burn large circles and comp 
Okay, the shuttle crews have been severely reprimanded for this prank, but the crop circles appear to have taken on some sort of spiritual significance for the natives. A new religion has formed on the patterns and is gaining popularity. Great. So, yeah, like, um, the people, the people on that planet now are, are kind of like vaguely aware that they're being watched by some otherworldly presence. Yeah. Leaders gain experience. See, see how many more traits there are now? Natural machinists. That's cool. Food from livestock plus two. Amenities. Some of the stuff we already had. Empire size from Pops is negative 10. If we go up here, um, Empire size, where's our Pops? From 230 Pops, that's plus 213. So we would reduce that by 10%, right? Yeah, by 10%. So that would go down from, I'd, I'd go down 21 points. That would be just below like 189, 190. It's not nothing, but it's not not great. Habitability plus 10 would be super nice. Um, research from, from jobs plus 15. Societal research, that's really cool. Like, we might need that because our societal research... Oh, it's actually kicked up to 165 now, but just look how much it, it falls behind physics. Okay, we're going to hold on to these points for right now. I kind of want to do the societal research thing, but this this is going to be the last time we can add something. Um, this will be the last time because this like we can't have just tons of of great traits apparently. Oh, look at that! Look at their little society: primitive dwellings, primitive dwellings, and in a stone palace. This is a great planet. Sixteen. Look at that! They live on a wonderful, wonderful planet. That's great, but they are aware of us, which is pretty funny. All right, what was I doing here? So the invasion fleets on route, they were just destroyed. Um, that's their home system right there. I am kind of tempted just to go down there and eat their home system. But, you know, there's also there's something to say to be about going on the outside edges. Let's go ahead and, and do the reinforcement on that again. Look at the fleet management window. This is the second flotilla. Some more Corvettes are coming online. One capital ship and two, two lesser ships. Um, yeah, we sense pre. Oh, these guys are uh, these are assimilators. So these are kind of like us, but they're um, they're like the Borg, right? So that's going to be a good Our showdown between them and I. Um, we're going to bring that other fleet down here, get it moving because the, uh, I mean, it's like, it's like 317, right? Like we just don't need uh, a super duper massive fleet to, to bulldoze some of this stuff. They close their borders to us. Yeah, I would too. And then did we finally, oh, we're building there. We're building there. And I guess we built here, right? So. Let's do the mining station and then the research station. Then we get some more science ships free here. And this is big for us too, right? Like, like taking this right here opens the rest of the galaxy for us because they had cut us off. We couldn't get down here to this place. And this civilization isn't really cutting us off, but they kind of are cutting us off from the rest of the galaxy out here. So it's kind of nice. Kind of nice. My goodness, we have so much work to do. Um, one of our leaders died. Let's make sure it wasn't a leader. Our construction is complete. It was. It was a sector governor. One of our sector governors died. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Let's move the hive district up before the research lab because we need those houses. Um, what that say? Uh, okay. We're genetic purists. We're fine. But what's the... Fortify the border. Test 
tech drone output plus 50% energy credits upkeep of tech drones. So that might be pretty cool. Learning. War campaign. Exotic gases of fuel. Improved energy initiative. Uh, I think we're okay. Nanite accelerators. Meh. We're good. Um, we need a new sector governor. Where is, is it that one? That's the governor. That's the sector governor. Yeah, I guess, I guess we'll click this button. Governor, 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 governor. Leader experience. Clear blockers. Empire size from districts. Negative 35. Hmm. I think I like this guy. Okay. Did that go down at all? I'll have to wait a second here. I don't think it went down like two points. <laughs> I think it went from three, three, five, three, seven to three, three, five. We send space one life. Okay, there are a lot of different. Oh, look at that. He's not. Oh, that, that's just showing that we didn't have a governor. I see. He is the governor for that planet, and he's the sector governor. And then we're saying that we don't have a governor for that planet, but we have a sector governor in the background. Now we have a governor for that planet. I see. Sector governor. Okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. That's not bad, because it's getting him... Um, it's getting him ranked up in case we have another sector that we fall into, but we probably will after this fight. But it also kind of sucks, because... Um, I would much rather have used that leader probably as a, as an, as a general for the land invasion or an admiral or something, but whatever. All right. Are you moving? You are. We have surveyed the system. Okay. Man, that's a lot of new contacts. There's a lot of AI on this map. I don't really know if I wanted that or not, but Technology we are. Conceived. Regenerative whole tissue, edicts, terraforming gas. We probably want to go with terraforming gas now that I realize that two of the planets we live on are 30% for our species. Habitability modification through grain, grain and biological tailoring. We can change the environment tolerances of a species to suit our needs. I think we're just going to change the entire planet instead of changing our, our um, biology. Yeah, we're going to do terraforming. The Gene Warrior Army, though, is still pretty BA, but it's going to be around for a bit, I think. I don't think we have to worry about losing it. Yeah, all that stuff can go away, please, and thank you. Hey, okay, you took that. Great. Uh, I'm just going to move him beyond this one. I'm going to let the other guy, the other fleet, come down. He's a ways away, I think. I think that's him right there. Yeah, he's a ways away, but I'm going to let him take it. And we're going to try to take, take this, 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 this. Take that. Just going to try to break it up here. We wanted to come down here to, to whatever this was, but that would be going into his home sector. Not that we, we, we can't go into his home. We can go into his home sector. I just want to nibble away the outside first. Oh, we're paused. Whoops. Where are we at here? We're over the planet now. Planetary infestation begun. Now let's watch it. There are boys landing, fighting, fighting, fighting. Crushing a hostile hive. Yeah, they just there's nothing they can do. Enemy nest taken. Yep. All right. We've already destroyed that. Oh, we're, we're moving on. Okay. All right. What is this saying? We have a resource towards Yeah, our unity, our influence is very high. What is this? Piracy. Interesting. I kind of want to go ahead and get to that place. And I'll let this other guy come in and Technology take this stuff over. Conceived. New shields? 
really good. Station research output, maybe. Shield capacitors. Planetary shield generator and orbital shield generators. Probably not what we really need. Like, we'll take the shield capacitors. And we're at negative $13 because we have so much upkeep from our fleet, I assume. Uh, not that we, it's not a big deal, but it is kind of, it's kind of a deal. Where's that? You guys need to start coming over here. And remember, every time you take some of this stuff away from him, he's just losing this income. We sense yeah. space -born life. Crushing hey. But he's not, he's not, he's not very, there's not a lot going on over here. Oh, cool. Uh, the archaeological team has made an unexpected discovery embedded within the station walls as a hidden surveillance system. Ooh, that seems to have been feeding visual and auditory information to a single point somewhere within the station's core. Someone was monitoring the disciples at all time, even in their most private moments. So do you remember when we said that there was that civilization where they would tell you what you're going to do for the rest of your life? Like they, like the Oracle pre like ordained it. I wonder how she figured it out. Wonder how she, are these home worlds? Interesting. All right. Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead out there and then you come in here and begin your preparation for landing. Now this this guy right here had a huge, or what I thought was a huge empire. Cause I saw the purple border. And I was like, man, that has a lot. But uh, his, his fleets are somewhere fighting somebody, and I just don't know. Evangel oh, these are zealots. These are like, yeah, we're gonna eat you too. Yeah, he's at war with both of us. He, and I, I just don't understand that. Like their exhaustion is almost the same. Received. I don't get it. All right. Star fortresses, plasma thrusters, auto cannons, living metal and mega construction. That's a really good one to go after, but that's 38,000. That'll be many, many, many months before we can unlock that. I think I'm going to do the Plasteel Armor level 3. 23 months. Because we are at war. Oh, oh, oh. Fascinating. Where is this at? I didn't know. I didn't know. Where is this at? Oh, man. You got to stop. Here, show me. All right. Back up. Oh, here. Okay, um, do I have a science ship? It's doing an archaeological survey, so it's not probably, there's a science ship all the way down here. Can you come up? It'll, I mean, we can, we can, we can try. We might not get there, but we can at least try. Um, do we destroy that? I guess we did. But there's, yeah, there, there, there's, there's, there's hostile planets here, so I'm not going to get the, the deal. Let's go to the black hole site, I guess, next. I really need that other fleet to show up. Ooh, there's going to be a huge reinforcement for that fleet. Yeah, Corvette, 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 tons of Corvettes. I'm going to feel a lot better about that fleet now that it has, was that two, four, six, seven... Um, 11 smaller support craft. Very good. Very good. Okay. I don't even know what that was. Oh, I really should have read that. I have, I really, I was just, I just clicked it. I should have read it. And then you. Perfect. That'll help a little bit. Um, and then down here, I guess. Here, here, and then go back up here and there. 
They're planet there, cool. And him, because we already have that sec uh, sector, we will send him we'll send that there. Oh yeah, so this is it. So what happened was there was a uh, a crew on board this ship, and um, the ship was losing life support or something had happened. And when one of the babies was born of that species, um, it somehow its consciousness got inside the computer network. So its body passed away because the life support was gone and everyone on board passed away, but it doesn't understand that its consciousness was a, was like one of the species. It thinks its consciousness is a, is a ship. And because it's young, it's been running around looking for its mom. And I don't know, I guess it can't grow because the neural network is hardware. It can't change. I guess it doesn't in all the centuries it's been running around trying to find its mom. It hasn't, it hasn't ever like stopped to try to figure it out, you know, like why can't I find her? Because it doesn't mature, right? Sad story. Yeah, I hope that that ship can get up there in that amount of time. Planetary infestation begun. Our like I calls it planetary infestation instead of just Enemy invasion. Calls it an, a nest too. I think that's pretty funny. All right, land on that world. Planetary begun. Crushing a hostile hive. And we have this. Advanced research complex. Point defense barrier mark two. That would be that would be something that we want. Our, our, our stuff now. Ooh, what is this? Oh, low stability, yeah. Because there's populations on here that don't like us. Under, that's that's you know you can understand that. Ooh, gas refinery. I need to start building these ancient refineries. They turn minerals, which we have a lot of, into the um, exotic stuff, which we just don't have that much of. I should build one or two of them. Um, where is the hunter seeker drones? Oh, this this is ability will will take care of itself. It'll be okay. It'll take care of itself. I do want to see if they'll form a new sector. I think they just did. We have to give it a second, I think. Yep. So there's, yeah, there's two new sectors there. So let's go to this one. That's the capital of, of, uh, we have a governor right now that's governing. Yep. Where is, so it's just this, it's this guy. Yeah. He's the, the lower rank guy. All right, there we go. So this was the guy that we were training, right? And now we're going to put him in charge of this, this bigger sector here. Technology and hopefully, conceived. hopefully he's going to be able to, to bring that into order. Let's bring the stability where it needs to be. Okay. So we took that. Now we're going to go over here. Now you guys are going to go into this sector and go to this world. Which world is it? Is it this one? And you're going to land your armies there. Go back out. Terraforming gases. Cool, cool. Deviancy. Battle simulators. Owl blockers. The gene warriors. Let's see the tile blocker. Our armies aren't being repelled at all. Like they're taking care of business. No need to upgrade them yet. Where's that research ship? It's coming fast as it can go. And where's that second fleet here? Yeah, we already have it going to where we want it to go. Lovely. And we're now at $66 shortfall per month for credits. Our construction is complete. Oh, yay. That other empire just took something down here from those guys. That's awesome. Yay. Cool. Yeah, they are they are definitely getting whooped. Like they're getting eaten up by me and the other guy. Planetary invasion. Did it did it get over? Is it done? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already, we're already back in orbit. Okay. That army is there. Crush Special project. The. Where are we at? Forty-five minutes. Council agenda ready. Ooh. All right. Once we take this, I want to go ahead and stop the video, and then we'll pick up with a second video. We'll watch this. This fight. We're not even losing one army. Oh, I think we just lost an army. <laughs> there we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop. We have a lot of stuff to do when we get back. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And if you have a moment, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.